Hey everyone, my name is Tim Chasen, and welcome to The Tomb Room. I am here to teach you how to play the fiddle. If you're here, I'm assuming you are a beginner player, or maybe you haven't even touched a fiddle or a bow before. My job is to get you playing tunes with your friends, or in a pub at a session, or on stage, whatever, or maybe just for yourself, uh, as soon as possible. You've taken the plunge, and you're here, and that is all that matters right now. Fiddle isn't the easiest instrument, but it's also not the hardest, so uh, I'm here to, you know, remind you to have fun. That's why fiddling started in the first place. <laughs> Uh, you know, we have so much fun playing with one another, it's, uh, you know, quite unlike anything else, you know, when you're in a room playing tunes with people. I don't know what it is, but you'll soon discover this. It's supposed to feel awkward and uncomfortable sometimes, so don't stress too much. Like I said, again, uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. And don't be too hard on yourself. This video series is designed to get you playing uh, as soon as possible. We're going to put music theory aside, except for the basics, uh, just for now because I feel like, from my own experience, uh, you don't need the technical theory uh, right now. We just want you to play and be comfortable with the instrument, uh, get a few tunes under your belt, get that foundation going. Okay, with that being said, let's, uh, let's grab your fiddle. I'm assuming that you have a fiddle, <laughs> first of all, and potentially if you don't have a tuner, this is something we'll talk about in the next few videos, but um, there are these handy little chromatic tuners that you can buy at your local music store or online, and I'd recommend getting one, uh, just if you have no idea how your fiddle's supposed to, uh, to sound. Okay, so now let's talk about the parts of the fiddle. Your fiddle, aren't they beautiful? It's amazing that people make these things, it blows my mind all the time. Um, we have our chin rest here, where your chin goes, kind of tucks into your neck above your collarbone there. Um, we have our tailpiece. We also have these fine little tuners here that we uh, you know, intricately tune our fiddle with eventually. Um, our bridge here. And obviously our strings that you know stretch out beyond and over down the fingerboard. Um, we have up at the top our scroll, our peg box, and our tuning pegs. And also um, these cool little F holes where the sound actually comes out of. And you'll notice if you look inside, uh, there's a sound post in there that's standing straight up. And if that falls down, then uh, you might have to have someone professionally look at it. But um, yeah, it's amazing. The sound just comes all out of there. Okay, that's your fiddle. That's all the parts. You don't have to remember all of those things right now. It's okay. You can set your fiddle down and just grab the bow. Another really cool thing. Um, we have here our frog. This is what they call the frog. A little dot there as well you should have. Um, the pad. Maybe you don't have one of these depending on where your bow was made. They're all kind of different too. Um, but that's just a little bit of padding for your fingers. The screw here, which is just, you know, loosens or tightens the hair of your bow. So you can loosen it, your hair gets really, really loose, or you can tighten it and you can see my hair getting tighter and tighter. And we'll talk about all that later as well. This is the stick and the tip. And that's it for now. So we're just gonna set our bow down and grab our uh, fiddle again. Um, just get comfortable with it. Use your left hand. Um, you know, there's a very natural spot to hold it. Uh, just that little curve and uh, placement between your thumb and your index finger. Just right in here. And just have it kind of set down like that. Maybe try to keep your wrist off for now. Um, and you can kind of go like that. We'll get into this left hand in, in a little bit later. So let's just try to tuck it under here. Have it kind of sit there naturally as possible. Try to just keep loose. Ah, breathe, take a deep breath. Um, it, uh, you know, a lot of people will tuck their chin like this or like that or really, really grab. You don't have to do that quite yet uh, as long as the fiddle's not gonna fall out of your hands. It's, just, it's, it's very awkward and uncomfortable at first. It's, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but we'll eventually get more and more comfortable with it. A lot of people have uh, shoulder rests, which are these things here that they can kind of place underneath and it rests uh, on your shoulder there. 
I personally have never used one, but I know lots of people that swear by them and lots of people don't like them. So give it a go if you want. You can also get a shoulder rest at your local music store. Um, but for now, just kind of have it there sitting above your, co your collarbone. You can also, if, uh, if, it's, if it eventually gets a bit sore, you can use like some padding or a cloth and set it underneath there if you're feeling like it's too much. All right, how does that feel? Just kind of, you know, feeling comfortable, feeling good, hopefully. Um, we'll talk about the strings here now, and we'll give each of them a little pluck. So we have four strings that are tuned in fifths, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, we have our E string, which is this one. We have our A string, which is the next one. And we have our D string here. And then way over on the other side is our G string. Let's just try plucking those. E, A, D, and G. Now let's go backwards, we'll start with the G. G, D, A, and E. Cool. It's really important to remember the names of the strings because that's where everything starts and begins with once we get our finger positions in. If there's one thing to remember, it's the names of the strings. Okay, let's set the fiddle back down. I know we're going back and forth here, but it's just so much easier to focus on one thing. <laughs> let's work on a bow hold. I'll also say it's the same thing with the fiddle. It's, uh, I've seen some crazy bow holds over the years of amazing players, um, but we'll get a good uh, you know, base down for what we want to try to accomplish with the bow. And if your hand starts to change or you know, you know, if it uh, comfortably fits a certain way, then it's totally up to you. It's, uh, you know, everyone has a unique hold. But let's try this. Let's try curving our thumb and tucking it in between the pad and the frog. There's kind of like a little space there that you can see. So a little bit of a curve. Also with your middle and your ring fingers, try curving it over the bow like that. And then we'll just place our first finger down and our pinky finger pretty evenly spread apart. So you have like a good hold like that. Again, it kind of feels awkward, doesn't it? But that's our, that's you know our, our, a pretty basic bow hold there to start with. Try not to have it like this or like that or grabbing it like that, <laughs> but just you know curve your thumb in, get your fingers over, and uh, this will massage. It'll you know it'll find its its home <laughs> once you get playing. Okay, now let's just try pretending for a second. Let's keep this part of our arm stationary. And we're going to go down, that's a down bow towards the ground, and an up bow is toward the sky. Just like that, just try going like that a little bit. You'll notice a little bit of a curve in the wrist when it comes back up. You can give that a go, but don't worry too much if that's not happening yet. The elbow is pointing down toward the ground. Not up like this, and not like this, but just kind of, you know, on a bit of an angle down to the ground, the elbow. Okay, now let's grab the fiddle, again, and uh, just kind of tuck it there. If you're feeling like you really have to grab it, that's okay. Um, the main part is just we're going to give it a go. We're just going to dive right in. So grab the fiddle, tuck it under your chin, and now let's just try our E string. We're going to do a down bow and then an up bow. So we're going to start here towards the frog, which is the bottom of the bow, and just, you know, a nice little pressure, not too hard, not too light, and this is what it sounds like. And all the way back up. Let's try going down again. And back up again. And if you notice, if I turn to the side, nope, <laughs> I'm kind of going straight down. I'm not going like this or like this. It's going straight down. Back up. Little curve in the wrist. And you, you might hear a that means you're pressing too hard, a little lighter. You want to try to keep it between the fingerboard and the bridge. Not too close to the bridge, not too close to the fingerboard. It's very specific, isn't it? Uh, but just you know, somewhere in the middle between your fingerboard and your and your bridge. Okay, now let's just try our A string, which is the next one over. Down, back up, down, back up, D string, 
string. Be hearing other strings while you're doing that, and that's totally okay. And our G string. And notice how this part of the arm is staying still. So if you can kind of focus on that, take another deep breath too, because it's easy to get super tight. G. So just keeping it nice and loose and easy. And uh, if it sounds like crazy and, and terrible, it's okay. It's totally okay. Um, I promise it's gonna get better. One quick note is uh, rosin. And rosin is for your bow. If you don't have rosin, I think you probably do. But it's a, it's a must because the rosin is essentially what uh, creates the friction between your bow and your string. So if you're hearing like a really light sound and you know just maybe put some more rosin on it's pretty cool you just kind of literally just rub the hair onto the rosin like this there is no crazy technique at all <laughs> and uh, yeah sometimes you'll notice after you put rosin on oh yeah it does sound better so you can do that and you'll notice that I have lots of well I actually tried to clean it a little bit <laughs> rosin on my bow as a fiddler it's uh, I'm, anyways I should clean my fiddle more period no excuses. So this is the end of video number one. Feel free to go back to the top and, and give it another go. And uh, in the next video, we talk about putting tape on our and getting our finger positions down. So uh, don't give up yet. Don't give up yet. I know you can do this. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in the next video.